The first COVID vaccine gets full federal approval. What does that mean for UTC? We have the answer. Plus, a walk across campus reveals what you can find here. I'm Ryan Brooks. And I'm Chris Figures. Your news starts now. UTC has recently updated their COVID-19 policies. Everyone on campus must now wear a mask in all indoor public places. The only exception are private offices, resident hall apartments, and rooms while working out and also while eating a meal. This is an extension of the previous requirement where all masks had to be worn in all classrooms and other instructional places. The need for the expanded mask mandate will be reevaluated on or before September 7th. The students seem to be all right with the mask mandate. We now have our first COVID vaccine that has full FDA approval. Pfizer's shot for people 16 and older has now undergone the same rigorous testing and reviews as dozens of other long established vaccines. COVID-19 vaccines in the U.S. were rolled out for emergency use. That allows the agency to speed up the availability of medical products during public health emergencies. Health experts hope the full approval will convince more unvaccinated people to get the shot. The Pfizer vaccine is now available to individuals 12 and older, while the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available to those 18 or older. Anyone within the UTC community is eligible to get their vaccine on campus. If you have already received your first dose of the Moderna vaccine, you may receive your second dose on campus regardless of where you got your first dose. Make sure to bring your vaccine card to your appointment. The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga received over $26 million as part of an emergency relief funding. The university will distribute the funds to the students through financial aid grants or awards. That could mean up to $1,700 for undergraduates and $700 for graduates. The funds will be determined by reviewing the students' FAFSA information. Only students enrolled in this fall semester are eligible for the grant. Students can get the grants through direct deposit or mail checks. Biden pled revenge for those killed in a terrorist bombing Wednesday morning at the Kabul airport. The president made that strong pledge at a press conference after 13 U.S. troops were killed along with at least 169 Afghan citizens. The attack comes days after the withdrawal of troops from the country and in a 20-year involvement. Despite Biden's pledge, the withdrawal is still expected to proceed as planned. The COVID-19 vaccine Moderna is being suspended in Japan. More than a million doses of the Moderna vaccine were found to be contaminated. Multiple vaccination sites reported contaminations and some doses might have been administered. Moderna now has to conduct an emergency investigation. Company officials told medical institutions and organizations to stop production. You can be a part of the UTC mock trial team. UTC Mark Trial is looking to expand their membership. Come to an interest meeting Monday, August 30th at 5 o'clock p.m. in the UC Raccoon Mountain Room or Thursday, September 2nd at 6.30 p.m. in the Signal Mountain Room. If you're passionate about practicing law and performing, this is a great way to get involved. You can email utcmarktrial at gmail.com to express further interest if you are unable to attend these meetings. Think Achieve is an organization at UTC to help students get involved with various activities around Chattanooga. The organization hosted a walking tour last week showing the perks of being a mock. Here's the story. Right. Okay. But it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With all the new and even returning students this semester, it's important to know the many activities you can do on and around campus, as well as a few things you can take advantage of while being a mock. Captivated by the arts? Showing your UTC ID when you buy the $15 entry ticket at the Hunter Art Museum will award you a year-long membership for no additional cost. Maybe nature's more your thing. 
Have you heard of UTC Outdoors? It's the campus's recreational program that offers nature expeditions that extend from caving to even water rafting. They offer free bike and even paddle boarding lessons upon renting of their equipment, all of which can be found on the UTC Outdoors page on the utc.edu website. Don't forget the city itself, as all Carta buses offer free transit across the city, making any trek an easy start to your UTC and Chattanooga experience. If you'd like to go on more adventures similar to this one, consider joining Think Achieve, found on mymox.net. This has been Jake Redfern, reporting for Mox News. This upcoming Thursday at Fan Favorite is coming back to Finley Stadium. Mock football returns against Austin P. and the university wants everyone to come and support the team. There will be tailgate with free food, music, and games for valid ID students. The tailgate will, will begin at 5 and climax at 7 with the traditional Mox flock lineup. There will be free parking at the game if you choose to drive, and if you don't want to, there will be a shuttle running from the game back to campus. Here's Chauncey with sports. The Braves were hoping to get a big win in the Big A, but that wasn't the case. The stricken Yankees withstood a nine-inning scare with the bases loaded. For the final out, the New York held off the Braves 5-4 in a thrilling matchup to extend its longest winning streak in 36 years. The Braves fall to 6-4 in interleague games with a 1-9 record in Atlanta. Up next for the Braves is a five-home game matchup against San Francisco on Friday. SEC football starts next week, but there is one particular team in the Southeastern Conference making sure their fans are healthy and safe for COVID-19. Louisiana State University announced via Twitter they will require all fans and spectators to show proof of their COVID-19 vaccine or proof of a negative COVID-19 test. LSU becomes the first university in the SEC and the third Power 5 school to require the vaccine or negative test. The LSU football program first home matchup will be September 11th versus Manise State. The Tennessee Titan general manager is pushing people to get the COVID-19 vaccine. That's after the team's outbreak increased to nine on Thursday with the diagnosis of quarterback Ryan Tannehill. COVID-19 complications are affecting the Titan season. Three starting players are out. The Titans team is almost 100% vaccinated. Titan management encouraged people to get this life-saving vaccination to ensure safety for the players and fans. And finally, game of the week for both Tennessee and Georgia. The game of the week for Tennessee will be live on Fox as the Bradley Central Bears head to Cleveland, Tennessee to take on the Walker Valley Mustangs. This is the 17th matchup between the schools. Last year, the Bears came out on top 37 to 34. Our game of the week in Georgia will be defending state champions, Macaulay Blue Tornadoes and the Calhoun Yellow Jackets. This is the second matchup between the schools, and last year, Macaulay won 38-22. to Kickoff for both games start at 7.30 p.m. That's it for sports. Chris and Ryan, back to you. That's this edition of Mox News. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to keep up with us on our Facebook page. We are also on Twitter and YouTube. Have a good weekend. Here's a look back at goat yoga here on campus. <laughs>